cerebrospinal fluid the name itself suggests that the fluid is present in the cerebrum as well as spinal cord the fluid is known as uh, csf and is a ultra filtrate of the plasma from the choroid plexus of the lateral ventricle and other areas of the brain so we have uh, the cavities in the brain so we have one and two lateral ventricle third ventricle and uh, fourth ventricle these are the cavities present in the brain itself and uh, the fourth ventricle followed with the uh, central canal of the spinal cord so this is the cavity present inside the brain so the cavities various cavities enlarged cavities and straight cavities so these cavities usually filled with the csf cerebrospinal fluid which is being formed by choroid plexus of the the ventricles we have choroid plexus mainly uh, in the lateral ventricle as well as the just below the fourth ventricle of uh, cavities so these choroid plexus are very specialized uh, cuboidal cells surrounded uh, to the blood vessel where the fluid is filtered so it facilitates the filtration of the fluid across this uh, cp choroid plexus into the cavities so here this is the cavity cavity and this is the blood vessel and uh, this is entire structure is known as cp choroid plexus and uh, this is the blood present in the cavity of the the blood vessel so these blood vessels here the mainly which is uh, present around uh, the ventricles are highly fenestrated so the fenestrated blood vessels is seen in this area where the csf usually being produced from the cps or secretes into the cavities or ventricles of the brain this csf also covers around the brain so which is shown here with the yellow color indication so this uh, this is called arachnoid spaces uh, present around the brain cerebrum as well as spinal cord the once the csf is formed and finally uh, ending into the arachnoid villi this is called av arachnoid villi is a granulation of the sub, sub arachnoid spaces so here this is the area called cranium tough uh, substance cranium and uh, we have dura mater and uh, arachnoid mat matter or arachnoid layer and lastly pyal matter or pyal layer and finally parenchyma or brain tissue so this is how the layers are arranged in the brain so this is the sagittal section of the uh, brain the center sagittal section and uh, here this dura mater is uh, occupied by the venous sinuses this is superior sagittal venous sinus where the arachnoid villi granulation secretes or drains its csf into the these venous spaces and finally drains into the venous circulation so this is how the csf usually produces here and drains here into the venous spaces mainly venous spaces of the dura mater so around the brain we have subarachnoid spaces here this is called subarachnoid spaces and same here and here so these are the trabeculae of the subarachnoid spaces it provides spongy like uh, the cavity 
where the CSF is uh, filled. Usually we have uh, 120 ml of uh, CSF altogether in the central nervous system and uh, with the turnover of around 500 ml per day. So this is the turnover of the CSF. So the turnover rate of the CSF is very very high because this CSF is the only fluid which provides the nutrition as well as supporting uh, to the central nervous system in day to day activities. And indeed uh, the CSF provides the homeostasis to the brain tissue and facilitates its normal functional status of the brain. And let us have a glimpse at uh, the various levels of CSF production and its uh, passes. First and foremost, CSF usually produced from the choroid plexus. So those are indicated here in the red color and of course enlarged here. From lateral ventricle, the CSF moves to the third ventricle via the interventricular foramina. So this is called interventricular foramina which facilitates uh, mobility of the CSF uh, from the choroid plexus to the third ventricle. Remember the 80% of CSF usually produces from the choroid plexus of the lateral ventricles and thereafter the CSF moves to the fourth ventricle via the cerebral aqueduct. This is also known as aqueduct of uh, Sylvius cerebral aqueduct or aqueduct of uh, Sylvius. From there it uh, go, the CSF goes into the fourth ventricle. So the fourth ventricle and then from fourth ventricle the CSF usually escapes into the subarachnoid spaces around the brain via foramina, foramenon of mesente or Lushka. So these are the two foramina present just uh, below the, the cerebellum, small brain, from where the CSF escapes into the subarachnoid spaces and it move on just above and downwards into the brain uh, cavities, into the subarachnoid spaces. So it move over the surface of the brain as well as down the length of uh, spinal cord and finally it reaches to the arachnoid villi so here I already have discussed the ar arachnoid villi so this arachnoid villi uh, facilitates the drainage of the CSF so drain into the veins majority into the veins and the minimal amount into the lymphatics so the main drainage uh, goes into the superior sagittal venous sinus and intracranial venous sinus and around the roots of the spinal nerve in case of uh, spinal cord. So this is how the cerebral spinal fluid of uh, ultrafiltrate of the plasma being produced from the uh, choroid plexus and drains into the arachnoid villi final into the uh, veins drainage. Coming to the functions of the CSF, the first and foremost is nourishment. The CSF provides the, the best nourishment to the brain which is the only source of nourishment uh, to the brain. And secondly, it creates the stable environment to the parenchyma or brain tissue which uh, facilitates the normal functional homeostasis or homeostatic environment to the central nervous system. And coming to the third function is uh, protection. So mainly the CSF protects to the brain by hydromechanical activity. So usually the brain weight is uh, around 1500 uh, milligrams or 1.5 kilo. So with the 
presence of CSF, we usually feel so the brain weight is around 50 grams. So, maximum reduction of the weight is being uh, maintained by CSF because the brain itself uh, floats in the, the cerebrospinal fluid. Obviously, it minimizes the, the actual weight of the brain so that we feel the brain as if just 50 grams instead of 1.5 kilo. And CSF also facilitates the removal of uh, waste uh, metabolites from the brain. So usually the waste metabolites of uh, 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 metabolic end products drains into the CSF and uh, finally drains into the venous system. And lastly, the CN CSF also acts as the buoyant to the uh, brain. So it provides the mechanical support and uh, scaffolding to the central nervous system. These are the main, the basic functions of the uh, CSF. So we will see the, the clinical aspects of the CSF in the next video.